Okay, I'm using heat in the yellow bottle. Just gonna pour a little bit in here. Got lighter. Okay, right now it is lit, so it's priming itself. I may need to put some more JV Weld down at the inside of it, because I don't think it's producing enough pressure, because uh, it takes a long time to prime, and uh, after a while it just goes back into the burn bowl. I, I tested this before I did this video, so... I'll turn off the light, see if you can see it better. I think some of the the holes, the jets, are, aren't angled correctly, like that one and that one. So they don't come up all the way like these. So only one, two, three, four, five, six come up, and two are down. I'll just pop this other stove on top of it. It doesn't have any fuel in it, so see what happens. Alright, so the pressure did go up a little because these jets are coming out more. So. Let me just test with this uh, windscreen. Okay. Does seem to have more even flow in the windscreen. It's been running pretty long on that little bit of fuel. I don't know exactly how much I put in. Probably like a teaspoon or two. It's gone about two minutes. I'm going to try building another one of these stoves with these venom bottles. Uh, make it a little different. Uh, Probably taking two of those, the tops, and JB welding them together to the burn bowl goes all the way to the top this time, instead of right next to the holes. So right now it's actually like melting this aluminum. Let me get this off of here. It's red hot, if you can't tell. So it gets pretty hot. So. 500 degrees because it bent this can and melted a hole through it. I'm surprised. So don't use Coke cans with this stove or with the heat. Get some thick aluminum or steel because it'll melt this aluminum. Now I have to make a new can stove. Oh well. 
Alright, so that's the new, or version 1 Venom can. Hopefully Venom 2 will come soon. Uh, but it works pretty well. I mean, it melted. You can tell that this it melted this aluminum. I'm surprised. Um, so I have to find a different Coke can to use with it. Uh, okay. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, I just finished making this uh, Venom stove. You just saw the uh, test run of it. Um, I'm going to put some more JB Weld down in the bottom to make a better seal. Um, but the measurements that I got off of Instructables.com uh, didn't really work for these Venom cans. I'm going to try and find those Bud Light cans or uh, to do that and I'm gonna try and get some more venom cans and make a different type of stove maybe a different design outtake on the same design but for the one from injectables.com with uh, venom cans I've got some measurements uh, the base I would have it one and a half inches or less uh, the part with the holes uh, I would have it one and three quarters or less, or probably probably one and a half or less, because of the burn bowl. Uh, the necks on the venom cans are just too short to get down uh, with the instructions and the instructables. So next one, I'm gonna put two or three, uh, just like the necks together to get add some length and test that way. Find it find that on a later video. Uh, the burn bowl, I will have it. Uh, from the top of the uh, bottle, one and seven eighths inches or less, and then the colonoid, I would s I would leave it on uh, the one on Instructables.com and have it uh, one and a half inches. Or I have let me get a tape measure real quick. Mine is. Just a little bit over one and a half inches. So one and a half inches for the colon. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. So tune in later. I'm going to rework this one uh, with new cans.